Is the FAA finally coming to its senses and allowing us to use our electronic devices during takeoff and landing? Maybe. How many pieces of tech are on your body right now? Probably only your phone. Me, myself, I have my phone and uh, my Nike Fuel Bin, and if you guys wanna get technical, I'm also wearing a mic pack. But in a few short years, more and more people will be wearing smartwatches and things like Google Glass in addition to their smartphone and or tablet, which also means that you'll be carrying two to three more pieces of tech you'd have to power down during a flight. Now last December, we told you about how the FAA was going to be doing some more internal investigations on whether or not the current standing ban on all electronic devices during takeoff and landing was actually necessary. Well, according to a new report from the New York Times, it's looking like the ban may be lifted next year. And for good reason, too. Too. As it's been reported for years and documented by actual pilots, the use of these small portable electronic devices has little to no effect on the instruments in the cockpit. In fact, some have even stated that the whole reason for the ban wasn't for mechanical reasons, but because in an emergency, a hundred loose iPads could become lethal projectiles. Which, if your plane is about to crash into the side of a mountain, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, you know because it's a mountain. Lethal projectile dangers aside, many pilots and flight attendants have been using iPads in the cockpit or cabin for years during the strict electronic device blackout period. And since January, a group consisting of people from Amazon, Boeing, the FCC, the Consumer Electronics Association, the Association of Flight Attendants, and aircraft makers have been looking into determining the safety of electronics on planes. Aside from safety, the group has met to determine what exactly airplane mode is and how to future-proof the proposed set of guidelines for things like the mentioned Google Glass and smartwatches. Anonymous insiders from the group claim they're receiving tremendous pressure to change the rules and have hinted that the rules for reading devices will be relaxed, but reiterated that cell phone usage not in airplane mode would still be prohibited. The group is looking to announce its findings by July 31st. And to make sure the FAA isn't dragging its feet, Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri has said she plans to hold the agency accountable by introducing legislation to initiate changes and is currently gathering bipartisan support for action in Congress. She said, quote, let's hope it's not necessary, but I will be looking for vehicles to get this thing changed. You guys think the rule will get changed? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I would like to announce that we are running a very, very special Easter egg hunt here on TFN. Each day we'll be giving you guys a new clue to search through our past episodes for. Correct answers will be eligible for one of 15 Tech Feed t-shirts, and if you answer all the questions correctly throughout the week, you'll be eligible for an iPad mini. All right, sounds cool, right? Ready for your first clue? Okay, here we go. On TFN, we love using clips from movies, especially Mean Girls and Hackers. We want you guys to find an episode where either a clip from Hackers or a clip from Mean Girls was used. Send the URLs of the episode along with your name, age, and address to rev3techfeed at gmail.com. More rules and details can be found on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash techfeedtv or on our Twitters at techfeed underscore news and revision3. We'll put a link in the show notes below. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, insert obligatory Alec Baldwin joke here. Because he got kicked off of a flight once for using his iPad, playing words with friends. Alec Baldwin. Anonymous insiders from the group. Whew. Anonymous insider. <laughs> Where are you going? Anonymous insiders from the group. From the group. Anonymous insiders from the group claim they're receiving tremendous pressure to change the rules and have hinted that the rules for reading devices will be relaxed.